else is Barbie welcome back to my channel hope all is well so today I'm coming back with another fragrance video of course so guys Eid Mubarak to all those that are celebrating this video is for you I'm going to be talking about top five colognes that you can gift for Eid and also that you can wear yourself during when you're celebrating uh, so let's get started so the first one we're talking about is Aqua de Gio Perfumo by Giorgio Armani. So guys, um, a few days ago, I was reading some reviews on some fragrances and some a funny review came up for this one where they're like, if you want to get a girl's number without actually asking for it, wear this fragrance. And I laughed so much because first of all, I got the image of a guy like girls throwing their numbers at the guy and the girl guy's just like trying to protect himself secondly it spoke volumes about the fragrance itself like guys this is such like a dark masculine seductive sultry fragrance definitely like a, on the smoky side because of the incense just so beautiful definitely for that guy who like like he has so much confidence and he knows what he wants and he gets what he wants so guys this is all about the bergamot the incense and the patchouli uh versatility wise guys definitely an evening fragrance so perfect for your eve party and secondly like longevity wise guys solid seven to eight hours which is amazing so my next one is one million by Paco Rabanne. So guys, this fragrance, uh, definitely when it did come out, it is definitely was a game changer. A lot of fragrances did try to emulate this fragrance itself. So a lot of people do have like these mixed notions about this fragrance. Some people say like, oh, this is just like a teenager fragrance. You know, those annoying, obnoxious boys at a club. That's exactly what they imagine a guy like this wearing. However, guys, I beg to differ. I feel like no matter what age group you are at, you can enjoy this fragrance. Fragrance. Yeah, I do have a lot of like customers that are more younger in nature when they are buying this But I still feel like any age guys you can definitely wear it if you're into like that sweet um, Sweet citrusy scent. So guys, what do you smell when you spray this? Definitely right away. You're getting the blasty grapefruit I would say this has one of the best grapefruit openings I've ever smelled on a cologne Then you're smelling the leather and then you're smelling cinnamon as well Which adds like a beautiful hint of spiciness in it, which I really enjoy uh, Versatility wise guys definitely it is more playful um, it has like a playful personality which I really enjoy and um, I feel like it's great for like the evening time if you're going out like a nice party event it'll work great longevity at least a solid six to seven hours my third one is Sauvage ou the toilet. So guys, this is one of the best sellers by Dior. Uh, again, this is a lot of people have mixed feelings about this one too. That oh, maybe so many people have talked about it so much, it's too popular. But it doesn't matter how many people have talked about it already. I feel like this fragrance is still so good. It needs to still be spoken about and still deserves recognition. That's what I really believe. So guys, this is all about the beautiful blend of citrus and spice. You're definitely smelling the pepper and the citrus notes. Um, it is a louder fragrance because of the umbroxin. But guys, hell, I just made a fragrance video like a few days ago that this is the perfect scent for work. So you can still get away with it anywhere, anytime. And guys, that's with anything, right? As long as you have that confidence. Confidence is key. Key, as I always say you can definitely pull off these fragrances anytime like no matter what I say or anybody else says you do you like hell you can even wear it to sleep if you want it really doesn't matter so guys longevity wise you're definitely getting a good six to eight hours it is great absolutely love this fragrance the remainder two fragrances I'm going to be talking about is um they're from the Middle East so the first one I'll talk about is Utter Al Guter, I probably really butchered that, and this is by Swiss Arabian. Uh, so guys, if I could put the synonyms for powerful all across the screen right now, I would. This is such a powerful scent, guys, and honestly, all of all other clones that you own are put to shame in front of this it's such a beautiful like citrus um you smell leather and it's very heavy on the oud uh it's such a beautiful scent guys definitely like a night scent when you're going to a party and guys when you walk in trust me compliments will follow your way um one thing i would keep in mind because it is such a loud fragrance uh, if you are wearing it for if you want something for yourself and you don't like louder fragrances then i wouldn't consider this also if you're buying this as a gift for someone and you don't know what they like or you know they like the more softer fragrances i wouldn't recommend it um so just be careful on that thing because it is very 
hard to get used to as well but once you get used to it guys you can't spray anything else i promise you longevity wise guys solid like 12 hours i would say minimum and if you spray it on your clothes guys it's never going it's seriously never going like it's gonna last days on you it is that amazing if you can get your hands on this i would definitely recommend it my last one is woody by arabian oud so this is what the bottle looks like however the case itself i absolutely love and that just brings me to the discussion that like i wish more perfumers and designers just design the fragrances better like just more fun like i've noticed that so many fragrances the juice is amazing guys i'm not saying that but sometimes like the bottle itself is so dull and boring so if they put more effort into like the bottle itself and just the design i, I feel like that makes so much of a difference I would love it more um so guys this fragrance is all about the wood and the rose there's some bit of freshness in it as well um this actually is considered a unisex perfume i've wore it a million times and i've gotten so many compliments on it this also has oud in it but it is lighter on the oud so if you are contemplating between this one and the other one then i would say go for this one if you're not sure if that person likes oud or not but definitely recommend this one longevity is solid eight plus hours and like i mentioned compliments are going to be i like your way i'm telling you Okay, guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please leave in the comments down below on like any other like YouTube I'd, like ideas for me, some video ideas. I would love to hear your opinion. Um, I do have some exciting stuff coming your way. And if you guys already haven't done so, please make sure you're subscribing, sharing, and liking this channel. I'll really appreciate it. I'll see you guys super soon. Take care. Bye.